How are you guys? This is the new update of the um, new 4 terabyte. The 4 terabyte RB5 RetroBeast 5 uh, was just Retro released uh, recently. It's a brand new mini version okay. of the uh, 96 terabyte. Uh, so I will merge. Uh, I will do every month a video of the update of the 4 terabyte and the 96 terab terabyte uh, in one video so it's going to be simple because uh, both drives share almost the same they share the same emulator and almost the same setting just the 4 terabyte is limited it's a n pick game uh, system but sharing the same uh, so if i update the ps3 emulator on the big uh, 96 terabyte it's going to be of course update on the 4 terabyte as well so any new feature uh, a new update anything that that uh, it's similar between the 4 terabyte and 96 will share the same update so welcome to all the new uh, 4 terabyte mini version buyer uh, before doing the update I just want to explain a few uh, step a few stuff where you can find the uh, the log where you can find the uh, sanctuary how to communicate with me to get the uh, free update monthly so it's very easy okay if you go to chriscolmod.com first uh, you can find you can buy the 96 terabyte from the main page or the 4 terabyte all right uh, it's gonna be shipped very very fast uh, it takes a few days to build and ship very very fast I ship everywhere in the world uh, it's free in Canada and US and there is a small fee for other country okay but I can ship anywhere in the world it's free shipping us canada and free of tax because i only declare the minimum so you should not pay any uh, custom fee so uh, big deal uh, thanks for all the reviewer also on, uh, on youtube i just got to uh, review great review for the four terabyte uh, more reviews gonna be available uh, soon so if you go you can go to chriscolmod.com if you don't know what's in the, the drive uh, if you go to chriscol uh, youtube chriscolmod uh, there is playlist all right so you can uh, find playlist for a review for the 4 terabyte for the 96 uh, terabyte that will coming is going to come soon uh, i will have some review on the 96 uh, also, I have a bunch of tutorial uh, how to use the RetroBeast with your controller and stuff like that. So you will find on my YouTube channel tutorial review and showcase on the YouTube channel. Also, when you buy the drive, I give you a link to the Discord. On the Discord, uh, if you go to Syncovery 4 terabyte log, you can read there is a date. So every month. Is gonna be an update and you can read what I'm gonna ch what uh, what was fixed or update uh, I will talk about soon this is an update video so I'm gonna talk all about the update every month I do a video and also you have a log on the discord so you have the log for the 4 terabyte and if you buy the 96 you also have the log on the discord channel all right everything is explained if you need any uh, extra information you can uh, always chat on the chat uh, chat uh, ch section uh, if you never buy a retro beast and you are on the discord you will only see the guest section if you buy something for me if you buy 4 terabyte 96 terabyte just pm me pm me mean uh, private uh, message me okay and you send me your name date of purchase what you did buy and I will unlock all the discord channel so you can access all the wiki log and information and ask question in the public chat I do not accept private message for other stuff than uh, for recovery after you send me your uh, purchase name 
just say, hey, Chris, my name is uh, John. I buy yesterday a four terabyte. I will, if you ask for a sync recovery update, because it's free, you don't have to do it. But if you want to update every month for free, uh, just ask me for a sync recovery update and I will create a profile. You just copy it on your uh, D drive and your sync recovery is going to be uh, synced to my uh, ser server. Okay, it's free. If you want a faster sync recovery update, uh, you can go to Chris Cool Mod Patreon um, and you can be a membership. You can buy a membership. Uh, you can have a fast scan, you can have a early access, or you can have a high speed and a early access. Mean your sync recovery, it's always free, but if you buy a Patreon, you will have a faster uh, speed up uh, sync recovery. Okay? Or, or, or if you want just to support uh, uh, me, that's fine, you can be a Patreon. So you have. So there is my YouTube channel, the Patreon, the Discord, and the the ChrisCoolMod.com. For if you need it, oh, also a lot of people they ask me uh, about the game list and stuff. The game list, it's on the four terabyte page, and as well as the 96 uh, page. Also, I provide link showcase for video and also um, for additional information. I also have a link from um, uh, OneDrive. Okay, you can access my OneDrive uh, files for game list and system. All right, so let's talk about the update. So the four terabyte this month. Uh, by the way, it's available now. The four ter uh, people who buy the four terabyte already have. If you order recently, your drive is already up to date. So you just need to update next month, and it's always on the 15th of the month. And if you are Patreon, you have early access uh, on the first of the month. Um, yeah. All right. So let's talk about the 4 terabyte log. Uh, okay, all the emulator on the 4 terabyte are up to date. So I update everything every, every month and in one click update, you will have all the uh, new emulator, new feature and update in one click. Uh, I also add if I go to my 4 terabyte, sorry, okay, this one. If after an update, let's say something is wrong, the RetroBeast doesn't boot for whatever the reason, uh, I provide a fix on the root of the D drive on your uh, RetroBeast Mini. It's name extract here if boot problem, all right? So after a sync recovery update, let's say RetroBeast doesn't want, that's very, very rare, but that, that happened uh, a few times for some people. So it's very easy. You just right click on extract here, uh, 7-zip, and you extract here. And it's going to overwrite and add the files you're missing for booting RetroBeast, and you will be good to go. Okay. So I did add this uh, new feature. I did that because instead of doing another sync recovery update and waiting a few hours, in one click you can fix your RetroBeast boot in uh, two minutes. So that has been added on the 4 terabyte. Uh, save backup. You have a feature before doing the sync recovery. You can save. Um, you can save your uh, save game on the F partition. It's optional, but if you want all your save game emulator to be saved on a separate drive, so Sankarovi doesn't override it, you can now save all. Let's say you play a Wii U game, Mario, whatever, and you have a, s a progress, of course. You can save it on the F partition you need to create on uh, your PC. It's only for save game. So what's going to happen, 
you back up all your save game before sync recovery with the backup maker um, and it's new from the update uh, and it will back up all your save and you restore all your save game after sync recovery in one click it take a uh, takes two minutes to do it so that's a new feature on the four terabyte I also change uh, optimize the PS1 um, I'm gonna show you how, uh, the PS1 emulator on RetroArch I'm gonna show you I changed the uh, the core on uh, the RetroArch uh, the PS1 not the dock station but the PS1 version running on RetroArch it's running better, faster, better compatibility, so uh, I changed it. Uh, was I passed it? Uh, not that station, this one. Retro Beast by Chris Cole Mod. Okay, let's take uh, any game. Have fun. And now you should have the BIOS also, the booting BIOS from Sony. That's uh, uh, an extra. So you have the wonderful sound of the PS1 when booting the game. You have the bezel and the new uh, core. What's the name? Wait a second. Oh, Beetle PS6. I choose Beetle PS6. I find he, he run better. So that's an update of the 4 terabyte. So let's quit. Um. Save backup PS1 Yuzu. I remove my save game from the Yuzu emulator. So when you're gonna boot the new Zelda, uh, uh, the Tear of the Kingdom, there is no save game. I remove my personal save. Sorry about that. And now it should boot properly, and you will start a fresh new game. Also, it's optimized to uh, 4K and 60 frames per uh, second. And all the graphic is optimized. It's very wonderful, very amazing. Um, oh, Amiga computer. Let's go to Amiga computer. I changed the uh, on the computer. It was 500 Amiga games. I delete them, and I add uh, 1,700 uh, games. Amiga, because it was one or two games that did that was booting but didn't work properly so I changed the RAM set and also add more so now uh, where's the Retro computer by Chris so now total in computer you have uh, 5000 games okay so Amiga is redone fresh new uh, RAM set and emulator uh, ta -da -ta 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 -ta. Oh, big PMU for the uh, big PMU. The problem with big PMU is the new emulator for uh, Atari Jaguar. All right. The only problem I did have is, is it was not a standalone emulator. So mean every time I was setting the controller for the emulator, it did save those settings on the C drive. That was a problem. So now any setting I change on the Atari Jaguar is safe as a standalone in the emulator. So now when you're gonna update the Amiga, uh, sorry, the big PMU Atari uh, Jaguar, uh, you will have the control all set up for the Xbox uh, controller. It will work no problem. If you change any setting, you can change your own setting. Uh, okay, I'm gonna boot it. Wait a second. I'm gonna show you. Let's boot the Atari. Uh. You just press Escape to access the setting if you want. Okay, let's boot again. Okay, now uh, so now you have the new bezel, uh, a new bezel set up. Okay, if you press escape on your keyboard, like this, 
with your keyboard you can access you can load save um, I want to show you you press escape again you go back to input uh, now see device uh, one you can uh, set binding but it's already set now now it's it's working but you can add or move uh, you can add uh, I suggest to not remove but you can add your own uh, controller button if you want for each button all right so that's the way you access uh, big PMU for Atari Jaguar and you can continue your game or uh, exit Yeah, and now it's working as a standalone. Uh, Wii U, I did, I don't know why, okay. Uh, two months ago I did change all the Wii U uh, run, uh, ROM for the Nintendo Wii U. And for some reason Captain Todd didn't work with the new ROM set I did add. But all other game works. But Captain Todd uh, was on the 4 terabyte. Um, I tried to re-download it and make it work. I don't know if it's the new emulator uh, compatibility with this game, but uh, I was not able to make it work. So I remove it and I replace with uh, a great game taken for the Wii U. Okay. So oh, by the way, because it's a free update and it's based on people's feedback. If you, for the system that are not complete, like Wii U, PS3, PS2, uh, Xbox 360, Xbox, if you want a, a game to be added, I can do it. But at some point, I will need to remove uh, some game. All right? But I can add a, a good game. If it's good, I can add it. I, I have a, a few free space. Uh, so you can ask on Discord uh, for uh, one of your best game that is missing on the 4 terabyte or any feature or any feedback uh, just report anything on the Discord also RPC X3 after uh, I saw a review of my uh, 4 terabyte uh, I realized the RPC X3 S3 sorry uh, the graphic was not upscale, okay? So I did upscale it. So now RPC S3 uh, is running at 2K with uh, graphic optimized and everything. And by the way, I'm working on, uh, because people using the 4 terabyte on small device, maybe old device or uh, low power device spec. So mean, my idea is because there is so different spec now, you have a high-end PC, low-end PC and stuff. So what I'm going to do, I'm working on, is a one-click button to change the, um, the emulator uh, performance. So mean, my 4 terabyte, let's say you play on a high-end PC, because all emulator uh, are running game at 2K, 4K with uh, high graphic. But if you plug, let's say, on a, on a 1X player that has a i5 or i7, that is great, but not enough powerful to run, let's say, a Yuzu game, a Switch game at 4K and stuff like that. So what I'm going to, I'm working on, it's a one-click uh, setting. Let's say you're going to choose low spec for emulator, medium spec, and high spec. So in one click, if you have a one X player portable, the Switch game is going to run perfectly at low resolution because you don't need to run uh, the new Zelda at 4K, uh, 60 frame uh, high resolution because the end is going to work very hard for nothing. All right. So it's going to be a future I'm working on. Uh, and also on the RetroBeast 96 terabyte is going to be a feature. Low spec for emulator, medium spec and high spec, or only low spec and high spec. But uh, I think it makes sense that uh, I have an option to change the uh, the performance. Okay, because all my emulator are, are made to run 4K full pack uh, high definition, and now the uh, PS3 RPC S3 is optimized. Okay. 
So uh, yes, you will have a, a setting soon for the 4 terabyte and 96 terabyte for a low spec PC and high spec PC. Makes sense. Um, let's talk about the 96 terabyte uh, log. Okay, this uh, new update of the 96 terabyte. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff. Techno Pirate. Uh, new games, new game on the Techno Pirate. Uh, let's take a look. Techno Pirate new game. I need to check because I don't really remember exactly. Let's go by date. Um, yeah, I did add. Um, Alien Star Trek, why doesn't show as a Storm Racer Blazing? No, that's not the new one. Anyway, there is new Techno Pirate game. <laughs> uh, you will see on the, the wheel. All right. Uh, Plutonium, Code Black Ops 2 path is fixed, so you can play online now with Call of Duty Black Ops 2 with the Plutonium uh, application. It's all fixed. Thanks to... Um, Discord member. Uh, oh yeah, I want to talk about the amount of game on the Retro Beast because people think the Retro Beast 96 terabyte it's a full game junk, uh, you know, duplicated. Uh, it's not trim, it's not uh, hand pick and stuff like that. But it is actually because I calculate all the game on the 96 terabyte. And it's not even higher than uh, uh, 100,000 game total. Okay? So I don't have all the... Uh, let's say I'm going to give you an example. Because some people... You can buy systems that have a freaking big amount of game. I'm going to tell you, telling you why. It's because they... Let's say... Uh, I used to have those collections before. But I trimmed them. Uh, Commodore 64. Okay? You can have, I think, just for Commodore 64, you can have 70,000 game, almost 100,000 game, okay? Just for Commodore 64, because you have all the duplicated uh, revision 1, 2, 3, A, B, C, D for the same game, uh, the demo, the, uh, the never release. Uh, so at the end, I can add, just for Commodore, I can add 60, uh, 70,000 games just for Commodore or just for nothing, you know. But just, I want to make, uh, I want, just want to say that the Retro Beast at all game, it's 100,000 game. That's it. No duplicator, no, no bullshit, no, uh, no revision, uh, one, two, three, okay. Uh, so it's very, very clean. The Retro Beast uh, game list. Uh, okay, trackball and spinner are set in main. So I redone the trackball. If you have an arcade cabinet, uh, I remap the. Uh, now I'm moving my spinner. The spinner is working on the mains and trackball separately. Okay. Uh, Saturn. Oh yeah, I changed the emulator for uh, Saturn, uh, Sega Saturn game, uh, run on uh, RetroArch, but now with uh, Yaba Shinshiro, I changed the, uh, the core, I think it run better, so I'll update that. Uh, I did add uh, new PS Vita games on the RetroBees. So, and I'll update the emulator. Oh, there is a big update on the Switch uh, Yuzu. I'm going to explain, okay. Okay, now, if you boot Retro Beast and you boot a game, I'm going to show you. I'm going to explain the new Yuzu, how it works. LED blinking. Okay, you go to handheld. If you boot from the wheel, you should not see the difference. Uh, for about what I'm going to explain. Retro uh, Beast let's take any game. Mod. Okay. 
Have fun. Okay, see, the game is loading now. Okay, if it's not loading, it's just just wait, okay? Because sometime after um, after a PC reboot, Yuzu sometime when he boot, he, he need to scan all his uh, DLC and update I did install for a moment. So it works, just wait. And if you wait enough, after it's gonna boot like in a second after. N don't uh, don't wor worry. It's just uh, uh, that's a behavior. The waiting time is a behavior after a PC reboot. Okay. So when you boot from Retro Beast, um, okay, I'm gonna give you an example. If you press now F11. Oops, sorry. I mean uh, escape, okay. Goodbye. Now if you go to wiki and you boot the yuzu, um, wiki shortcut emulator. Okay, now it's time to have fun because if you boot it as a standalone, it's possible after a PC reboot because it's gonna scan the 6000 game in DLC and all that. It's gonna take a long time, okay? But it's worth it. Now I cannot access the game, it's in black and white because it's, it's kind of scanning uh, the R uh, drive and QR and all the DLC. But you can right click on the game. Oh, that's all I'm, I cannot show you now. Okay, let's wait. Um, and you can add a um, modification of the game. You can modify it. As well as the new Zelda, you know, like a graphic pack. Uh, if you go online on the internet, you can find some pack or graphic pack for any game or uh, any modification let's say only method life uh, and stuff like that and you just uh, right click on the game you want and you open the mod f uh, path I, I did a video about that and you can add your own modification so all game now can be boot from the yuzu if you want and modify you can change the graphic, you can do a, a unique setting for each game, you can add your mod, your custom uh, stuff if you want. Okay? Our games are available on the Yuzu now. So for experienced people that want to do it, it's available now. But see, the Yuzu, it's, it's not freeze, it's just scanning all the game and uh, DLC for the, the first time. Uh, not the first time, but it's scanning stuff. So, but if you boot, usually if you boot from the retro beast, uh, the yuzu it's not, it should not be freeze. It should boot uh, right away. Okay. Um, oh, by the way, I already installed all the the mod available for each game. You uh, you will see next to the game, you will see the name. Um, uh, like now there is Super Smash Bro. Now I cannot right click because it is working now the, the Yuzu. But usually you can right click and go to mod and check whatever the modification you want to do. If you want a higher graphic or unlimited life and stuff like that. You just check it. You just check what you want. It's a list and you boot the game. That's it. If you don't want the modification, you just uncheck the uh, modification from the, the game in Yuzu. Simple as that. Alright. Um. Da -da 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 -da. Saturn, new PS Vita. Atomi Swave. Oh, yeah! Uh, Light Gun Will. Now I reach uh, 363. Uh, game total because I did add Atomy Swave more PC game yes my friend so let's check a look let's take a look 
Ta 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 ta. If you go to collection, I still have a little bit more game, a few PC game, and a few uh, system to add on the light gun. But damn, it's huge. Yeah. Oh, 365. Sorry. Uh, there is a few PC game. I'm gonna show you. Uh, Atumi Swave. Damn. Where's Atumi Swave? Oh, I did add the Wii. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Now you can play uh, the Wii game with your uh, Sedan Light Gun or Gun for Your. I did add the Wii collection. Alright. So Wii game now is available on the light gun wheels. Oh, Naomi, Naomi is new. Where's the Atomi Swave? Hello. Oh, I just passed one. Okay, Extreme Mounting Two. Those logo, the red and green logo. So those was add uh, was add. The friction is not a double. It's the um, uh, the PC the Techno Pirate version and the PC version. All right. So that's a new game and the Wii Atomi Swave. So it's pretty much complete. So this one is the Wii version. This one is the Sega Model 2. Yeah, I have the most complete working. Um, Light gun set up. Goodbye. Uh, I just need to revisit the uh, Sindon for the bezel and stuff like that to make sure it works properly. But uh, Gunfire R works uh, for, for all the games. Sindon uh, works. It's just the, the bezel uh, white uh, behavior. Because you can activate the white border from your gun. But I also try to make it... Um, uh, when you choose your Sendon gun as your gun, I want it to be. Uh, I want all the game. I try. I want all the game to add the bezel, the white bezel already. So, but not a big deal because you can activate from the gun. So anyway. Um, oh yeah, I, I clean up. I did a big clean up on the. Um, uh, let's shut down Yuzu. I'm gonna check. Uh, um, PS, uh, I did a big cleanup on the PSN. Uh, it was a few uh, double game, duplicate game, uh, and demo uh, for whatever the reason. But now it's uh, it's all clean. So when you boot the emulator or the Retro Beast wheel, uh, the list has changed a little bit. But now it's cleaner than ever. I recheck everything for the PSN game. Not that this version, but uh, all PSN games are clean. No duplicated and demo, uh, everything was removed. Sorry about that. I fixed uh, Sega Model 3. Uh, the speed up. Because some emulator, for whatever the reason, I know PS2 has a speed up. You can speed up the game and uh, Sega Model 3. And it was activated on the Sega Model 3. And if it was not, it was activated by pressing select or stuff like that. So anyway, it's removed now. Retro Beast by Chris Cole Mod. I don't know if people use the speed up. It's it's an option on the emulator, but I, I, I don't understand why. I don't understand why you want to Have speed up like fun. four times the game speed. Yeah, see all is normal. It used the, uh, in the menu it was kind of speed up. Everything was running fast. But uh, I fixed it. So now the car should run as a normal speed. See now it's not full screen and now it's full screen. Yeah. 
I'll fix my friend. Two, one. Whoa. Another great start. Alright, let's quit it. Sorry about that. Okay, so for the 96 terabyte update, um, I did change the MS DOS. MS DOS is redone from the ground. There is 7,000 MS DOS. Some people ask me for more games. Um, so I delete the all MS DOS setup. And now you have uh, seven thousand game MS DOS Retro Beast by Chris Cole Mod. Um, this MS DOS. This one is um, collection. It's it's a mini MS DOS version for one player joystick, two player joystick, and mouse setup. But the complete is right there. Now you see one game, but that's the trick. Because I need to uh, boot uh, launch box for that. Have fun. Because uh, I will rebuild the uh, launch box from scratch. Um, Okay, sorry, it's because I have my... Wait a second. Wait a second. It's because I have three screens and my recorder didn't pick up the... <laughs> the proper one. Oh my god, sorry. Now I think you ca you see... Uh... Oh, wait a second. If people know, I have two screens on top of my Retro Beast and now... Ah, oh, come on. Wait a second. All right. Sorry about that. Um, so anyway, he boot from a uh, launch box and after you have uh, the 7000 uh, MS DOS. All right. Sorry about that, uh, it's a mistake about my recorder and my uh, second screen behavior. Um, oh yeah, uh, two months ago I changed the uh, MAME collection, but some game in MAME use the, uh, the CD version and the CD version it's freaking long to load for nothing, but they have um, they have a, a regular ROM uh, version that boot uh, Capcom. It was Capcom, Street Fighter, JoJo, uh, Capcom uh, System 3. Some of them was CD version and it took so long to boot. So now it's fixed. So for some Capcom and uh, JoJo and Street Fighter, uh, Capcom System 3, the booting time is very, very fast now. So I swapped the CD version to the ROM version. Uh, Skyline more to come. Uh, okay, Xenia is now can. Oh, the Xenia emulator for Xbox 360. Uh, I changed for Canary version. The Canary version it's kind of uh, the beta version. It's a more, it's a more updated version. So I try it because. I think it make the more game um, more game available. I think it's better. So uh, Xenia for Xbox 360 uh, is Canary now version. Nintendo. Um, emulator core and bezel. Oh yeah, I changed the um, Nintendo DS. New uh, DS Mule emulator core. New bezel. Let's try it. It's better now. Nintendo DS uh, run freaking better now. Again, I changed the uh, emulator. 
Kara in the Retro Watch. Uh, not 3DS, DS. Because I was playing some game and some game was kind of slow. So I said, what's going on? And uh, I play around with a few games. And I find that the, the, the mule, this mule um, car was freaking better. And as all the bezel also. So that's new. All the bezel you see around the, uh, the Game Boy DS is new. And the emulator run better. Because I know for a fact that emulator, emulating Nintendo DS, sometimes you have sound glitch you can have. See now this game he used to have, you know you can hear in the sound like a glitch sound or something like <laughs> But now it's almost perfect so... Alright? So for fun of Nintendo DS... Brand new emulator... Oh yeah, PS1 has changed to uh, I already said that. So that's it for the update uh, 96 and 4 terabyte. Uh, give me some uh, feedback of the update uh, on Discord for uh, what you like, what you don't like, what you want, what you don't want. <laughs> I know so far everybody is happy, but uh, thanks for watching, guys. This is the uh, 4 terabyte new mini version available at chriscoolmod.com and the 96 terabyte also available at chriscoolmod.com. The best system in the world. You have free update. Best support in the world, guys. Peace out. Thanks for watching. Bye. Retro B 